Hi, welcome everybody. This is going to be a tutorial on blip fishing and how to add custom fish to enhance your fishing experience. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to the spigot page, link is going to be in the description, and you're going to download this jar file. You're going to go to your server and throw it in your plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, look at the link in the description and see my YouTube video on how to make a paper server for Minecraft. So now that I assume that you have a server, we're going to go into plugins, we're going to see blip phishing, and we're going to start our server and make sure everything is running properly. After that, we're going to go over to Planet Minecraft, link is going to be in the description, and download the texture pack for blip phishing. Once you get this, you might as well extract it and throw it somewhere where you can easily access it. I'm just going to take it and throw it right into my servers folder. What you're going to do, if you don't want any custom fish, you're going to leave it zipped and we're going to take it to MC Packs and upload it so we can upload it to our server. and it'll give you a link. You're gonna copy all of this. You're gonna go over to your server properties folder. You're gonna scroll down to resource packs and copy all four of these. You're gonna paste and then you're gonna save and then restart your server and you should have the blood fishing texture pack. What if you wanna add your own custom fish? You have your blood fishing resources unzipped wherever you feel safe. Let's just take a look at it. Let's go into assets and Minecraft and then go down to textures. We're gonna click all the way through to salmon and we're gonna open up all of these and just take a gander at how they're made. All of these are PNG pixel art. So this is what we're gonna use to edit them. I'm gonna open anglerfish. You can use any software you want, but for right now, I'm just gonna use the Windows editor tool to edit the anglerfish. I'm just gonna go over to the filter and apply a, a filter on it just to change some of the pixels and make it make it a little cooler. We're gonna save as a copy and we're just gonna put that wherever we see, probably in the, the folder directory. But if you wanna just throw it into downloads, that works too. All you have to do is just drag it over to your, your server file. So now that we're in our resource pack again, we're gonna click into assets, Minecraft and models this time. And we're gonna edit all the ones that say salmon. So we're gonna start with the folder. We're gonna see all these JSON files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just copy anglerfish and paste it. And we're gonna rename it anglerfish We're going to open that, we're going to change this to anglerfish2, and we're going to save. We're going to open the second salmon JSON, and we're going to see this list. Now, for some reason, this software really likes its commas, and so if you miss a comma here, your, your whole pack is going to break. So what I did with this, if I had multiple um, fish that I wanted to add is I would take this and throw it into chat GPT and say continue this list with all the IDs that I had but since we're only doing one I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to add a comma right here and remember that there's a comma here but there's not one on the last one we're going to name this angler fish 2 and we're going to change the ID to 29 and remember, before you finish, always click save. So now we're going to go back into our texture folder. And we're going to go back into models, Minecraft, and at the top items. Now that we're adding this JSON file, we're going to scroll all the way down. And remember, this is where it gets complicated. Okay. So now that we're in the items, we're going to make sure that these 
commas get into their proper place. So we're going to copy this. We're going to copy it. And after this one, we're going to paste. Then we're going to make sure that this is a little bit back to match the other ones. We're going to name them 29 and angler fish 2. We're going to repeat the process for the normal process packs and we're going to highlight all of these three and compress to zip. Name this fish or whatever you want. We're going to go back to MC packs link in the description. We're going to open up our server folder or wherever you put your fishing resource pack. You're going to open it, select your zip file that you just made, do the capacha, captcha. We're going to copy this again. Go into your server, server properties folder of your server. We're going to highlight all this, and there should be more. There should be four of them. You're going to highlight all that and save. And then you're going to reload your server. It should automatically download your resource pack. You should be able to see all of your new fish. So open it. Model number 29. And this one's going to be your new fish. So guys, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. And if you wouldn't mind checking out my server, we've been adding more custom fish and a whole casino. This casino-based Minecraft server uses an economy and the fishing mechanics to incorporate a fun playing experience for all, with a sturdy emphasis on building your own casino. Although it is a casino server, it does not offer any pay-to-win features, and it's just an enjoyable experience. The server is going to be in the description and on screen. So we hope to see you on soon.